Hey everyone, welcome to the lab. I wanted to share with you my newest project that I've been working on. I've been fascinated with building a simple dying 9 volt battery simulator and adding a twist on it and putting them in some vintage enclosures. So I went to my local antique shop and picked up a vintage baking powder tin, coffee tin, and a couple of old cigar boxes. And inside, wired up a very simple circuit to simulate a dying 9 volt battery. So there you can kind of see inside what's involved. It's basically just two uh, DC power jacks and a 100k potentiometer along with um, a resistor and some wire. And uh, every one of them inside looks exactly the same and is wired the same and you can pretty much put it in uh, any enclosure that you would like. You can really let your imagination run wild. Uh, basically what it does is it simulates uh, anyone who's played pedals with 9 volt batteries, you know that once they start to die and lose their power, it alters the tone of uh, whatever pedal you're playing through, and so this kind of simulates that with the use of this uh, knob, so you can dial in uh, the dying battery to great effect. So what I've done is uh, wired these all up, tested them, they're all good to go. I've got this guy plugged into the Devi Ever Sodamite fuzz pedal and right now I've got it all the way up at full 9 volt power. So you'll hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Let's start to dial it back and you'll also see the light starts to dim because you're not uh, supplying the full 9 volts to the, to the uh, pedal. So here we go. If I could describe the sound, I would say it's a little duller, a little darker. Um, some people describe it as kind of spongy. Um, a typical 9 volt battery, once it gets down to about 7 volts, is going to take on that characteristic. So I believe with the resistor I have in here, these uh, all the way down will go down to about 4.9 volts. And you'll really uh, notice a difference as we continue to adjust this knob. And, you, and it's very sensitive, so you can really mess around with it and just dial in the exact amount of uh, starvation to the pedal that you're looking for. So let's uh, dial it down even more. And here's even more. You can hear the volume drop as well. where you hear the full effect of what I'm doing here because it really starts to kind of cut out and get pretty raspy. So there you go. I will be listing these for sale soon and probably continuing to make them as I find funky enclosures to put the circuit in. Um, this is something that's very simple to make. There's plans online. You can also contact me directly and I can walk you through it. If you're handy with a soldering iron, it's one of the simplest things you can do. Um, I find that they work best on like fuzz and distortion pedals, but you can really let your imagination run wild as far as what effect you would uh, use them on. Um, kind of a fun little project, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot.